Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here at the NEC and we have finally made it to Ducati and their Street Fighter V4. <laughs> Cuddle the bike. Oh. Cuddle in the bike. Are we rolling? Oh, oh okay. Right, rolling. okay. Well, I'm. I, do you know what? Out of. Um, I think out of the mainstream hyper nakeds, right? And we're going to shift just slightly to the side the Brutale 1000 RR from right. MV because I just don't think that's mainstream enough. I find um, that really hard to do, but all right. Okay. But for all of the hyper nakeds that are coming out into 2020, and for me this year or going into 2020, it's kind of the year of the hyper naked. You know, yeah. what have we got? We've got uh, 1290. You're touching uh, that guy's boob, by the way. Sorry. We got, <laughs> we got, we, we, <laughs> right, it's feeling we, up a mannequin, <laughs> brilliant. Sorry. We've got the 1290 <laughs> car. We've got um, the ZH2. Yeah. Which, to be honest, I look at that bike and I don't know whether to uh, ride it or oh. turn up with my harpoon. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an interesting motorcycle, isn't it? It is, right. So anyway, um, you've got, um, what else have you got? Well, K I mean, obviously KTM's new Super Duke is available. It, uh, it, it, the interesting thing is is what, what the industry is saying right, so constitutes my, a hyper naked, yeah, right? Yeah. So my point was, this is probably the best looking one. And so far, I think people agree because they're all sold out basically yeah. so um all of the deposits are taken for both the uh the standard uh, street fighter v4 and, and the, the s4s yeah so if you want one you're gonna have to wait till july basically and that, that is not just hyperbole um our, our, one of one of the dealers that we that we have a partnership with in the southwest not may, naming any names i was speaking to their dealer principal and they've taken over 20 deposits really? and, and for, for, for your average um, UK dealer that is their full allocation of V4 of V4 Street Fighters you can't there's only so many bikes that Italy or, or give to each individual dealer and that that's it you're, you're done but come the back end of 2020 there will be more bikes available and yet I mean I, I think the, the the kind of the, the the look of the bike is is very subjective in terms of whether you like but what I would say is in the flesh it is way more impressive than, than what you see when you look at images of the bike. Mm. I mean, the features on this thing are... Well, it's jam-packed, out, isn't it? It's outrageous, isn't it? 208 <laughs> horsepower. I still can't wrap my head around that well, for a naked bike. I mean, you know, I've rode quite a lot of nakeds this year, and by the time you get over a ton, you're like... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, and, and, and you're, you're blowing off of it, and, and this thing, this thing, the same. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's gonna be two hundred and eight. Oh, just, just bonkers! It's ballistic, isn't it? It's, it's ballistic. ballistic. And, and and I know we were talking about this before when we when we when we uh, we published our RMV video, and you 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 basically said it's too much power. Yeah. And th there is an argument to say that it's too much power. I think obviously, you know, they've, they've obviously worked quite hard with the aerodynamics. Um, the jury's out on the winglets, if I'm totally honest, as far as I'm concerned. But I would imagine that in terms of the way that the bike channels air past the rider this will be quite efficient mm. and it'll need to be right because otherwise well, you're going to end up headless by the time <laughs> yeah, you come yeah. to the end of your journey that's right um but i mean but the of course the other really interesting and i know we kind of talk about the same things with performance bikes but they are fundamentally important aside from the, the headline horsepower figure which is ludicrous and it makes nearly 100 foot pounds of torque is the weight yeah and and that and you know we talked about the h the zh2 and i feel like we're not necessarily the most uh, complimentary about that bike, but the, the jury's out on that too. But that, that bike is 235, 240 kilos. It's a heavy bike. Fully fueled 200, 200 kilos. kilos. Mm. That's it's impressive. Just, wow. It's massively impressive. When you pair it up with 208 horsepower, I mean, this yeah. thing is going to be astonishing, isn't it? It is, it and is. And the, uh, you, I know you said about the winglets, and I thought that. Initially, I thought, what the hell do they put winglets on? It's a bit overkill, isn't it? But um, there is actually technical reasons for that. So if you're mad enough to get up to the maximum speed of 168 mile an hour, this is going to put an additional 28 kilos of downforce on the bike. I'm, um, I'm smiling. <laughs> I'm wondering the relevance of that is kind of questionable, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, it does do something. You're absolutely well, look, right. I mean, you know, look, there's people obsessed with downforce yeah. and, they, and they're like, oh, I just need to eat more. I All right, my love, to... I'm just going to nip out and test out my winglets. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 170 <laughs> mile an hour. Well, yeah. there you go. Mm, there so, you go. Uh, really technical. I uh, think they've changed the engines. This is the same engine lifted out of the V4. Yeah, out the done, lifted out the Panigale. Lifted out the Panigale. But what they've uh, done is they've, they've changed the gearing yeah. on it. So it's shorter geared. It's less um, 
uh, less set up for pure top speed, yeah. short on the gearing. So actually what that means in the real world, and I think it's really going to translate to the kind of uh, people that are going to own this and yeah. how they're going to ride it, is that at 60 mile an hour in sixth gear, you crack that throttle open, it's got 30% sure. more torque available right. at top gear at 60 mile an hour yeah. than the Panigale V4. Yeah. This is going to be a stonker. Yeah, you know? I mean, that, 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 that's, the, that's one of the fundamental differences. Ride it a lot lazier, basically. Yeah, and, 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 and you've just got all that roll on torque. Yeah. All that, so any, I mean, talk about sixth gear, but I bet you anything, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you've it's just, be the same. all you do is wind it and it just absolutely fires you down the road. It will be, yeah, storming. Yes. I guess we've got to talk a little bit about the kind of technical stuff. Obviously, there are two specs. You've got the standard V4 and then the bike that we're standing in front, the S. I think the, the main difference is probably the suspension. It's a fully electronic setup on this. You've got Showa forks. Uh, you do also get the Marchesini wheels on this. Um, there are, I think, one or two other bits and pieces that, that change the two bikes. Pricing it starts... 17 and a half. Just over 17 and a half. And the, the S is... Nine. Just under nine, uh, just under 20, basically. Yeah. Uh, 19,700 or something like yeah. that. But, you know, I think, actually, you know, considering, like, Ducati are the Ferrari of motorcycles, um, you know, they look like Ferraris, in my opinion. It's a big and, statement, and that, but you're probably that right. New v, that new V2, the Panigale V2, I know it's a different bike, but for me, that is, like, the top of the tree. That They're not actually badly priced, really, when you when you take into account that, you know, to get you on a 1290 Super Duke R, you're going to be actually similar money oh, compared yeah. to yeah. the Street well, Fighter V4. You... Looks what, you know, I don't know, there's just something special. There, there, there we is. talked about there's Ducati a... being premium products. They are. There's no, no there, There's a certain, I mean, dare I say, there's a kind of certain romance attached to the is. Italian brands, particularly Ducati, and, and now Ducati uh, seem to have um, resolved sort of any major reliability issues. They, they all of a sudden over the last two, three, four, five years have become ultra desirable, haven't they? And yeah. that is reflected in the price. But you're right, if you look at the competitor products, KTM's new Super Duke R with the tech pack is going to be 18 plus. It's certainly going to sit at least somewhere between the standard V4 and the S. So they are direct competitors. I think we need to come back briefly to this kind of sort of hyper naked issue though. What you directly compare this to will be really interesting next season, whether they're going to do this against the Super Duke. I mean, we haven't even talked about BMW. Their new S1000R, I think, is another 12 months away. Yeah. ZH2. Um, and you're probably, you're probably going to have to chuck in Brutale 1000. You are, you are, you are. I mean, yeah. although price point is very different, um, you, 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 can't, you can't ignore the fact that bike is available. And, and in terms of figures, it's very, very similar to this. Headline figures are very similar, weights are very similar. Both Italian brands, both exotic, both fantastic looking products. Um, I mean, it's a very exciting time if, if, if you know, and, and if that's uh, what you're into. It's really oh, exciting time. And if you're looking for a hypernake, you're like, oh, which one do I choose? Oh, it's just, yeah, it's an embarrassment of riches, isn't it? And, it is. And, 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 and as I say, hopefully. It's a first world problem. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, very yeah. much a first world problem. Oh, oh, what do I choose? Yeah. But I mean, this has got to be right up there. For anybody on the shortlist who wants to buy a very high performance naked bike, this has got to be, and, and in fairness, that's reflected in the order tape, right? Everybody yeah. sold out. You know, it says an awful lot about the desirability of the product. Uh, we haven't really talked about the specs. We've got Brembo brakes. Yeah, um, Stylemas. Stylema yeah. brakes again. Yeah. Again, top of the tree. Um, it's going to break really well. Yeah. It's got uh, Diablo. Um, no, it's got... Rosso Corsas. It's got Rosso uh, Corsa yeah. too. So it's yeah. really sticky uh, rubber. Yeah. Um, it's got a full suite of electronics. Nice. It's got the uh, Ducati slide control yeah. as well, which is quite cool. Eff effectively, everything that's on your Panigale gets lifted and put onto this and slightly adjusted and, 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 and calibrated for a naked bike. But what you will also find with this is uh, there will be guys who will track monkeys who will want to ride this on track and it will perform. Of course. You know, essentially, what you do is you take the fairing off a Panigale, you put some flat bars on it and, and that's it. That's the yeah, recipe. Yeah. You know, and, and hold on for dear life. So, you know, you know that technically it will, it's got the whole thing. It's five inch TFT. Uh, I mean, this has got the heated grips. I mean, it's got, you know, multi and, and, and the, the adjustability, the tailoring aspect of the uh, suite of electronics. And this is, means, again, you can really, really fine tune it for what you want, which is. Are we, we've, we've, we're going to finish it. We're kind of rambling a bit, aren't we? Yeah. So hope you enjoyed that little video of the Street Fighter V4. 
beautiful bike. If you come into the NEC, you should definitely check it out. But just be aware, the Ducati stand is absolutely mobbed from like morning through tonight. So you'll have to get here early and get your swing your leg over this, basically. So look, please like, please comment. We'd love to hear what you think. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.